Hi there. If you're diving into modern WordPress development, you've come to the right place. But before we get started, we need to make sure you've got the right tools set up. So first and foremost, you're going to need access to the command line. And don't worry if you've never used it before, it's very simple to use. In a command line interface environment, also referred to as CLI, you interact with your computer by typing text-based commands to perform a wide range of tasks, such as file management, system configuration, software installation, and much more. Now, there are a lot of things you can do with the core of your computer from the command line, but we're going to focus on modern WordPress development for this video. Now, because I'm on a Mac, I'm going to be using the native terminal app and I'm a big fan of Visual Studio Code. So I will also be using Visual Studio Code's integrated terminal in this video. But don't worry if you've got a different setup, you can use whatever tools you like. As long as you've got access to the command line on Windows, you can search for command prompt or PowerShell and this will give you access to the command line. Now let's talk about Node.js, which is an absolute must have for modern WordPress development. In case you're wondering, Node.js is a JavaScript runtime environment that allows developers to run JavaScript code outside of a web browser. And paired with Node Package Manager or NPM, you'll have access to some of the most powerful and relevant tools for modern web development. So NPM is where you'll find an array of scripts from small yet powerful tools for automation to complex frameworks like React. It's the go-to place for all things JavaScript outside of a browser and is most definitely needed for modern web development, especially for WordPress. Now you can certainly install it directly from the nodejs.org website, but if you do that, you might get locked into a version and you may come across some incompatibility issues when trying to set certain things up. Now at the time of creating this video for modern WordPress development, it's recommended to use Node.js version 16 or higher. And currently the latest version of Node.js is at version 20. So to help with different versions of Node.js, you can use something called Node Version Manager or MVM for short. You'll find it on GitHub and I'll drop a link in the video description below. So why MVM? Well, MVM lets you juggle different versions of Node.js effortlessly. And because not all Node.js projects are created equally, some might rely on older versions of Node.js while others embrace the latest versions of Node.js, and that's where MVM comes into its own. Thanks to MVM, we can seamlessly switch between different versions of Node.js with a single command line, and trust me, it's a lifesaver, especially when dealing with legacy code day-to-day -day like I do. Another tool you'll find useful for modern WordPress development is WPCLI, which stands for, yep, you guessed it, WordPress Command Line Interface. Now this tool can be used for site installation, configuration, content management and maintenance, as well as managing and administrating WordPress websites with a set of command line commands. And WP CLI simplifies many common WordPress tasks and makes it more efficient for developers and site administrators. It's a valuable tool for anyone who manages multiple WordPress websites. It helps streamline common WordPress tasks and can significantly improve efficiency and productivity when it comes to working with WordPress. And don't worry, I'll guide you through the setup process step by step. We'll have MVM, Node.js, NPM, and WPCLI up and running in no time. So let's get started. So all we need to do is to go over to GitHub and do a search for Node Version Manager. And the first result we get is NVM SH NVM, and this is Node Version Manager. So I'm going to click on that link. And I'm going to go scroll all the way down to installing and updating. Click that link. And we have two scripts that we can run. We can either run the curl, which is the one I'm going to use, or you can run the wget. So I'm just going to copy out the curl. And then I need to go back to my terminal and then just paste this code in. And all that's going to do is it's going to install Node Version Manager for me. So hit return. Now, in order to check that we've installed that, we need to create a new session. And the way to do that is to simply close the window and just create a new terminal window. And then I'm going to go NVM hyphen V. And it's showing me that I'm actually using 0 0.39. Now I can install Node with NVM by typing NVM node install. And to clear my screen, I can just type clear. And now I can check what version of Node I'm running. So it's running the latest stable version, which is 18.17.0. And I can check my NPN version, and that's running 
Now we've installed the current stable version, which is 18.17, but there are other versions available to us, and we can list those by typing NVM list. Now in our list, we can see all of the current stable versions of Node.js listed at the top with the current version that we're running in green. And we've also got some legacy versions down below. Now there is another version of Node.js that isn't listed by Node Version Manager, and we can check that out by going to nodejs.org. And we can see that the current version is 20.6, and that has all the latest features. It may not be stable, but we can still go ahead and install it. So I can install that by coming back to my terminal. I'm just going to clear this out. And I can go nvm install 20. And that will go ahead and install version 20 for me, and it will actually set that as my current version. I can use Node Version Manager to check which version I'm using. So if I clear this out and go nvm list, these are all my stable versions, and it's telling me I'm using version 20. Now, if I want to use different versions of Node, I can do that quite simply. If I just clear this out first, I can go nvm use 14. And that will actually swap to use 14. And I can check that by checking which node version I'm running. So I can go node hyphen V. And that's telling me I'm running version 14. And I can also use NVM list. And again, this list is telling me that my current version that I'm using is 14. And there you have it. That's how you use Node Version Manager to install different versions of Node.js as well as swapping between using those versions. Now I'll show you how to install WPCLI using curl. WPCLI is such a powerful tool not only for managing WordPress sites but also for modern WordPress development. So let's get it installed. In your browser, if you navigate to wp-cli.org, then click the quick link installing, this will take you to the installation instructions. You can use wget or curl. I'll be using curl as shown on this page. Just copy the first line, then open or go back to your terminal. In my case, I'm using VS Code's integrated terminal. Then paste the line we just copied and hit return. This will download the PHP archive or FAR file to your current directory. Now, if we pop back to the installation instructions on the website, we can see how to check this is all working by running the following command in the terminal. So let's copy this line back to our terminal, paste. If you see the following, everything is working as expected. So now to use WPCLI from the command line by typing WP as a command prompt, we need to make the file executable and also move it to our local bin to use it system wide. If we pop back to the website installation instructions, we can simply copy those commands to do that. So to make the downloaded FAR file executable, first copy this line. Back to your terminal, paste, and hit return. This makes it executable. And now to move the WPCLI FAR file to a location where we can use it system-wide, pop back to the website installation instructions and copy this line. And go back to your terminal, paste, and hit return. Now, because we're using the sudo command, at this point you'll be asked for your user's password. This is the same password you use to log into your computer. So what this command has done is move the WPCLI file file to the user local bin directory and renamed it to WP, which allows us to use WP as a command prompt. And now to verify WPCLI was installed successfully, type WP-version and press return. And we can also run WP-info. And that's it, you've successfully installed WPCLI on your computer using curl. We can now use WPCLI to manage our WordPress websites more efficiently from the command line. Now you're all set up for modern WordPress development, I'll be adding more videos that rely on this setup in the future. So thanks for watching, if you've liked this video please do give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions please leave them in the comments below. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.